What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and show where Graham G.S. and Matthews break down all the original content you watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the February 4th, 2023 edition of the SmackDown Lowdown. No Jackie Redman this week. She was replaced for this episode by Scott Stanford. Uh, they opened up the episode by replaying the Roman Reigns scolding of Sami Zayn at the end of SmackDown last night. What an amazing angle. We'll talk more about it a little bit later on. Uh, they recap the Tag Team Tournament Finals. That saw Strowman and Ricochet best Imperium in the finals last night to become the new number one contenders to the SmackDown Tag Team titles against the Usos next week on SmackDown. Backstage, Megan Moran catches up with Strowman and Ricochet. Uh, Ricochet says that they're not really worried about the bloodline drama going on right now because Megan mentions, like, what's going on with them? Do you think that gives you an advantage, whether Jay will or won't show up next week? Ricochet, rather, is just worried on wanting to show the entire WWE Universe what he and Strowman can do as a team. Strowman says, don't celebrate yet, Ricochet. We still have some work to do, and they're ready to become the champions next week. Back in the studio, the preview said tag team title match, Strowman and Ricochet versus the Usos next week on SmackDown. Uh, Madcap Moss, uh, we hear from him backstage alongside Emma being interviewed by Megan Morant coming out of the commercial break. Um, he says that opportunity next week where he, Karrion Cross, Santos, Escobar, and Rey Mysterio will battle in a fatal four-way for the number one contendership to the Intercontinental Championship is uh, the opportunity means everything to him. He acknowledges his opponents, Rey Mysterio, Karrion Cross, who he hasn't beaten yet. Uh, being in the ring with them should be great. And uh, Emma's like, listen, stop talking about your opponents. Start talking about yourself and how great you are, and you're the fastest, you're the quickest, you're the best You're the best looking, blah, blah, blah. And they're interrupted by Legado del Fantasma, all of them. They walk up, and uh, Santos says, listen, next week I'm going to show why I'm larger than life and the next Intercontinental Champion. So I was starting to think maybe Santos might win. Rey Mysterio's not winning. Rey Mysterio already faced Gunther a few months ago, had a fun match, already fell short of beating him for the Intercontinental Championship. He's not winning. Uh, Madcap winning, I have no fucking interest at all in that. I know he's the only other babyface in the match, but I'd rather see Gunther face a fellow heel, to be honest. Uh, him and Madcap, Madcap, there's a very good chance he wins, uh, just because he is the only other babyface in the match, but he hasn't done anything else on SmackDown yet. Like, he's only ever really lost. I, I can't remember the last match he fucking won on SmackDown. So I really have no interest in seeing him win. Uh, Karrion or Santos are really who it comes down to. I was thinking Santos, but then I saw this thinking, okay, maybe they're building to Emma and Madcap versus Santos and Zelina one of these weeks on SmackDown. So a mixed tag. I'm thinking Karrion might win. I might have to change my pick to Karrion Cross. But anyway, back in the studio, the preview said Fatal 4 rematch. match. Uh, Scott Stanford picks Karrion Cross. They recap the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville from Friday, and they hype up Charlotte Flair defending against Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, the SmackDown Women's Championship as well. Um, they recap the Women's Qualifier for the Raw Women's Championship number one contenders elimination chamber match that saw Natalia emerge victorious and become the uh, latest entrant in the matchup. Backstage, Megan Morant catches up with Natalia, who says that she wants to make her own history in Montreal, given all of her family's history in Montreal specifically, the good and the bad. I guess she forgot to acknowledge that part. Um, but she wants to also break Shayna Baszler's bones. As remember, the last time we saw Natalia before the Rumble on Saturday of last weekend was when she was put on the shelf legitimately and in storyline. I think she suffered a legit injury in the match uh, when she got hurt by Shayna. So she wants that revenge probably before Elimination Chamber. She didn't pin her in that four-way on SmackDown, so there is some unresolved bad blood there. Uh, Scott Stanford says he favors Raquel Rodriguez in the Chamber from who we know is going to be in it so far. And Matt Camp is favoring Asuka. And she's been to the mountaintop before, but never as this version of Asuka. And i got to agree, I really hope she wins and faces Bianca at WrestleMania. They preview the uh, women's qualifier coming up on Raw. That will see Meechan, Candice LeRae, Piper Niven, and Carmella duke it out for that final spot in the chamber. Uh, they then replay the amazing ending to SmackDown from Friday that saw Sammy attack Roman following his promo and the bloodline come out and uh, go after Sammy and Roman scolding Sammy and saying, listen, I want you in Montreal for the Undisputed Championship, blah, blah, blah. Fucking great shit. Uh, they preview Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn at Elimination Chamber. What a graphic, by the way. Uh, for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And Matt Camp says, listen, Sami Zayn's got a chance and the fans are behind him right now. And Matt Camp, and I don't blame him, is always choosing Roman Reigns in his title matches. He probably will continue to do so until he loses the thing. But uh, he acknowledges Sami's got a chance. And from a booking standpoint, he definitely does. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, he's so hot right now. How can you not put the belt on Sami Zayn? You really shouldn't, I don't think. Um, I love Sammy. He will get his moment at some point down the road. 
I don't think he gets it in Montreal. It really should go to Cody and Mania, in my opinion. Uh, if Sammy wins the belt, does he win one of them? That would also be dumb. D- just keep it on Roman until Mania, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so they preview the Reigns and Zayn match, as I mentioned, as well as Hype Up Vengeance Day for tonight, the NXT event on Peacock that I'm looking forward to as well. So that was the SmackDown Lowdown for February 4th, 2023. Thank you guys, as always, for checking out my reviews. I appreciate it. Be sure to uh, like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Uh, check out my SmackDown audio review from earlier today, if you haven't already, with my full breakdown of Friday's show. SmackDown audio review coming next week as well when I'm in Smack or in SmackDown, at SmackDown, in Mohegan Sun, here in Connecticut. Should be a great time next Friday. Uh, so on-site report from that show next weekend. SmackDown Lowdown back next week as well. A lot of reviews, or rather videos, to post from Rumble Weekend, by the way. Um, interviews, and I actually got a chance to play 2K23. It's an awfully put-together video as far as, like, production. I couldn't... I don't think I could shoot the, the, the screen is what I understood, but I saw people posting gameplay from the fucking event that I was at. So I don't know what you can post, what you can't post. I'll put that up at some point. Uh, my reaction to playing the game, it was a War Games match, so that'll be up at some point here on the channel. Have a great one, guys. I'm Graham GSM Matthews. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll catch your ass down the road.